Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to take another look at the BF F8 HP Pro radio. I've done quite a few videos on this particular radio, but there are a lot of features on this radio that honestly could you could spend a couple hours going over on a video which would be which would be way too long. So all right, first feature we will look at is the feature I still scratch my head over, and that is the stopwatch feature. Pretty easy to activate the stopwatch. You go to the backspace button here, the yellow arrow, turn arrow, you hold it down, and you're in stopwatch mode. To start the stopwatch, you push the home key, to stop it, you press the home button again. To exit, just push the backspace again and you're back to your uh, previous mode. All right, to scan the radio, I actually had a viewer ask me how you get into the scanning mode. And the basic scan mode to scan all your frequencies that you have programmed in your radio and you want to see in the scan mode is you press the Z key down here for about two seconds and it will scan the frequencies. And to stop, just push it again. The next feature we are going to look at is where we scan the subcode. And this will search for a CTCSS or DCS code. In order to do that, you must have an active receiving signal for it to work. And the code that I use on these radios is the CTCSS. And that stands for Continuous Tone Coded Squelch System. And basically what that does, uh, it gives you, I would say, it gives you the illusion of having a private channel. And you can put different codes in. And technically, they're audible, but they aren't heard by the user. It's kind of like having your squelch turn all the way up. So... What it does is it would filter anyone else using the same frequency and you would only hear a person that's using the same code. So if you were on a channel and someone has a CTCSS code programmed in their radio, you would hear them, but they would not hear you unless you had that same code. So just remember, even though you have that code on, your conversation is still, um, still can be heard by others that don't have that code in. So let's demonstrate here. I have a testing frequency here, and both radios do not have a CTSS code programmed in transmit or receive. So they can both talk to each other. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. So you can see that they both receive each other's signal. All right, so let's take our first radio here and let's put in the CTSS subcode. So let's go ahead and go in here. We go in the menu and we go into program radio and let's go to CT okay let's see. Oh there it is. Receive CTCSS. Let's go in there and put in a code and there's a lot of codes you can put in. Let's put in 
and then we'll go down and also put it in the transmit. And again, 79.7. All right, let's exit out here. And let's see if the other radio hears us. Test one, two, three. Okay, it can hear us because we do not have any codes programmed into this. Now, let's see if this radio can hear the other radio with the codes in there. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. As you can see, um, it ignores all signals unless they have, have that CTCSS code programmed into the radio. Now, if we go into the menu on the radio that does not have that code activated, we can put that code into there. Okay, the receive, 79.7, enter, and the transmit. Seventy nine point seven. All right, then what we can do is if I do a test, we should be able to hear the other radio now. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, and test one, two, three, test one, two, three. So now with both those codes put in there, the radios can talk with uh, one another. And they will, if someone's on the same frequency, they will not hear that radio unless they have the correct code, 79.7, programmed into each radio. So now what will happen is these radios will be able to talk to each other without hearing someone else on the same frequency that's not using a code or has a different um, CTCSS code programmed in. Once that other radio puts in the correct code that these radios are using, then they will be able to join in on the conversation. All right, so what we're gonna do with this radio now, radio two, we're gonna remove those codes. And to do that, we'll get into the menu. Let's remove those codes. Program channel. And we're just gonna turn that to off. Okay. And then on the transmit, we're gonna turn that off also. All right, so now with those codes off, this radio will not hear this radio. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. All right. So let's say you have this radio and you want to join in on the conversation, but you don't know what the code is. There is a way to find that code. All right, let's find that uh, subcode, the CTCSS subcode. And to do that, this radio has the correct code, so we're going to go on the radio that does not have the code, and we're going to search for it. So we go into VFO mode, frequency mode here, and make sure you're on the same frequency. We are on 433, so we need to put in the correct frequency. 430. And we're good there. All right, so let's go ahead and scan for that code. So. Again, on the radio that does not have the code, we're going to go into scan. We're going to scan subcode. 
and we're going to do CTCSS. All right, so it's scanning right now. And remember what I said, you have, to, you have to make sure the other radio is broadcasting on that frequency and code to catch it. Basically what it's doing is, as you can see, scanning all the codes until it locks on to a uh, signal. So let's go ahead and hit transmit. And there you go, it found it, 79.7. All right, so the next step would be push the home key. And it saved the code. All right, so pressing the home key again, save that code. And then if we try transmitting, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. We can now talk to the other radio. Pretty cool feature. Um, that's also, the subcode is also how repeaters work. When you transmit to a repeater, you have that code and when the repeater hears that subcode, it um, opens up the repeater so you can use it. So pretty, pretty handy feature right there. Of course, it's much easier if you already know the subcode, but there is a way to uh, figure out what the code is if someone's transmitting on the frequency. All right, I know I said I was gonna go into single watch and dual watch, but um, I think I covered quite a bit of material today, and I don't really use the dual watch or single watch, and um, I might do that in a future video, but I think I'm gonna stop it here. The video's, I think, long enough now. So hopefully this helps you if you want to scan the frequencies and um, figure out the subcodes. So that's it for today. Please hit that like button if you like my material, and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet. So please hit that subscribe button. So thanks again, and I will see you next time.